There is no use planning for a future, which when you get to it and it becomes a present, you won't be there. You'll be living in some other future which hasn't yet arrived. And so in this way, one is never able actually to inherit and enjoy the fruits of one's action. You can't live at all unless you can live fully now. Just got to the top of my first summit, 3,000 meter summit. Incredible views all around. It's 3,252.8 meters, and just beautiful snowy ridges all around. Feelings on getting to the top, Luke? Quite relieved. It was a long day, very hot. I'm a lot short of it. Yeah. So Big 3,000 meter pass with a litre can of beer drank with two hands. <laughs> that is a happy Irishman right there. <laughs> this is where they use cow dung to keep the house. Traditional method they use here in the mountains. So 
say hello to my little friend. I should call you Bert. Very burned Bert. And you will be my friend Bert on this big voyage. What do you say? Hmm, sounds like a good idea, Jack. This guy needs some uh, Factor 50. So, bad news. I had a little accident on the bike. Um, did about 150 kilometers into Tajikistan from the Uzbekistan border and then my hub has been making a pretty weird sound for the last week and there was no bike shops or repair shops anywhere um, to get it sorted. Um, I was hoping it would last me to Dushanbe where I am now um, and then go down the hill I heard a big crack and then this happened so my axle is just completely snapped which is really not a good thing to happen at this stage and I am in Dushanbe now I had to hitchhike 300 kilometers which is really frustrating because it was 300 kilometers of the most beautiful uh, mountainous road um, my first kind of real experience of, of the Tajikistan countryside so yeah hitchhike with a a very friendly guy all the way to here and now I'm just fixing my bike and I've got a new axle and, and I'm going back to um, back up, getting back on the road in a few days and then hitting the Pamir so a little hiccup in the otherwise smooth journey so far
found myself some amazing hot springs in the middle of nowhere. I'm so happy. I feel just like the back of the hill in spa day in Chester. <laughs> So I just reached the highest summit in the Pamirs on this tour. 4,600 and something. <coughs> it's bloody hard. It was a tough climb. And um, yesterday evening I had a really bad stomach bug. I don't know what it was but I didn't sleep at all. I was uh, pretty sick in the night, so I had no energy for this critical climb. I went the slowest a human has ever been on a bike, but I made it to the top. Wake up, you're going to wake up.